3D printers, cutting edge 21st century tech. But they've actually been around since the last century. Who used it? Automobile companies, aerospace companies, big companies that have the budgets to buy expensive printers and expensive CAD systems. Now, these devices are moving from big business to the mainstream. Doctors are using them to print model organs. Chefs are testing them out to see if we'll design our own food in the future. And 3D printing companies are making big bets that the future of these printers lies in the hands of everyday folks. We've been doing 3D printing for 25 years. We've had production systems and large systems for a long time. This is our attempt now to get at a consumer level where we make 3D printing accessible to the mass market. Here's how it works. Users create a three-dimensional design using specialized computer software. That image is fed to a printer. Instead of traditional ink, the printer syringes may be filled with a liquid consistency, like food or plastic. The printer uses that liquid to essentially build that object layer by layer. 3D Systems isn't the only one looking to break into the consumer market. Tech giant HP launched its own 3D line, and startup MakerBot is selling its printers for $1,000. They want to make it as easy as like a toaster oven in the kitchen. But the question remains, how will these 3D printers be used in the future? You have this thing in your house that produces little objects. You need to fix something, you can produce an extra part for, uh, for a table or for a swing. Or if you need to make a toy for the kids, you can make one fairly easily, just snap it together once it's done. According to market researchers at Wohler's Associates, the 3D printing market will be a $5.2 billion industry by 2020 up from $1.3 billion last year. 3D Systems says we're at the early stages of what they hope will be a 3D printing revolution. On the consumer end, we're just at the beginning. We are at the beginning, and, and this, is, this will only go lower in price points, and, and it will increase adoption of is, the technology. Is this going to be in the daily household in, in the future, in the next five years? Are we going to own 3D printers in our house, do you think? I, I, I surely think so. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York.